I'm curious to see what is happening today. Each time when you open the newspaper, watch the channels, whatever channel you're looking at or watching, you'll hear amazing things. Right now in Florida, there is an epic center of the COVID. And the challenge that they have is that many of them are warning people not to take the vaccination. Yet there are by the thousands, they are heading to the hospital because they are sick and particularly the younger people. Then I hear some Christians are praying out loud, Oh Lord, get the fear of God into them so that it opens the eyes that they will not take the vaccination. So as an outsider, I'm wondering, what is it? Is this called the spirit of Trump? Is it a spirit that possesses people to cause other people to get sick because they don't care? You see, my son is in the hospital now 19 weeks in coma. Why? Because somebody was not vaccinated, didn't wear his mouth cap, his N95, and he had a job to open the doors for the people that worked where my son worked. That is in Canada, in Ontario. And so when my son was not feeling too well, he just took a couple of days off just to get rid of the fever. And then he got a letter or an email from his boss stating, why don't you stay home for 14 days in quarantine? And then at a certain time, my daughter called me and said, Dad, we're not feeling too well. And so she called in to the hospital and one of the nurses spoke to my son and is sent immediately an ambulance. By the time that my son arrived in the hospital, he basically died, 38 years of age. They resuscitated him and they claim in the statements that he went into coma induced in coma. He still is in coma. That was April the 11th. Sunday morning, we'll never forget that call. Five o'clock in the morning. I am in the Netherlands at the moment. Very soon to see my kids and be with them, to support them, to guide them through this. But what about you? So many people don't care about the other. And then they use faith or religion, because I'm not so sure if a lot of the Christians have faith. See, the problem with faith is that when we listen carefully to the word of God, it was Yeshua HaMashiach who said, follow me. So there is action taken. In other words, if there is no action, if I just say la di la di la because I am a believer, then without action, there is no religion. And God never said to go up against authorities. He never said go up against people with guns. He never said go and do this and beat the snot out of them. He said follow the way, the truth and the light. Now we have a major problem because most of us don't even care about that. But for those that claim that they are Christians and they are fanatic in not taking a vaccination that could stop or at least hinder the painful experience of you facing a son or a daughter or a loved one falling down and going in coma for a very long time. Folks, it is all about you. Do you care? Do you believe that God is a God of love? And if love acts this way, that you don't care, then I wonder if you realize that you are on the wrong track. Because the way that Jesua, also known by most of you guys as Jesus, the way Jesus said what we needed to do was to pick up our cross. Don't make other people follow your way with 
carrying your cross, you have to carry your own cross. And if your cross is a little heavy, I understand because we are facing one and we are dealing with something that for us we've never seen before. But Yeshua says, follow the way, the truth and the light. And why did he say that? For the simple reason that Yeshua came from the Essenes. And among the Essenes, that was the group of believers that followed Yeshua. It was very normal to honor God. It was standard to listen to the Spirit of God. And as the Spirit of God teaches you, you understand that you enter the presence of God. In other words, when you are on the way, the truth and the light, that is where the presence of God is. And in His presence, we get wisdom. We get understanding. We get insight. And then we can handle this love, those that don't understand. If you start shouting and spitting and doing weird stuff because somebody is not doing what you believe, then you've got it all upside down. And that is what I call this the spirit of Trump. Because Trump is me, me, me and myself is a narcissist. A narcissist is a flower, a beautiful flower. But when you are a narcissist as a human being, you are a person that is so full of it, so full of yourself, all you gotta have is me, 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 myself. If that is the spirit that you carry, then I would like you to challenge yourself. Check out, why do you behave this way? Is this the way that God behaves? Is this the way that God wants you to behave? Or is this a group of people that are using politics, religion and money to force you to do certain things that doesn't make sense? This is Brad Caleb, PhD. And my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. God bless you. And have a great day. Bye for now.